Someone contacted me from a previous video I've made about how to loop a YouTube video and she said, hey, can you help me? I need to add the loop feature to this video. This is the video I need to play continuously. Her name is Alicia. And um, you can see in what she sent me that she sent me the web address for her particular video. So youtube.com slash embed slash YKL1WBFC. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link just so you can see her video. She's gotten it set up for full screen here, but this is her video address. So if I go ahead and click play here, that's not going to work because this code isn't actually correct here. I think she's got the right video ID. So I'm going to go here and just make this a full screen video by changing that to V. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So now we've got the correct video. She's got this really cool capture of a hawk coming in and landing on, uh, I'm not sure what this is, a little feeder area. It's a really cool hawk and she's got the sound of the hawk kind of screeching a little bit. Um, just neat. Really cool little video, I think. I'm going to go ahead and pause that and show you how we set that up to loop because right now it's not actually set up to loop. The code for doing this still works. This is uh, January 21st, 2016. That other video I made was sometime in 2014. But her video ID is this, YKL1WBFC4J8. The code for looping a video is youtube.com slash v slash, and then you want your video ID to go here. And then it's question, version, and you can actually have different versions of the YouTube player. You don't have to have this, though. You can get rid of that if you don't want it. But question, version, equals, and then you have a number. And then you have and loop. So that's the part that will loop the video, equals one. That makes sure that the video will actually loop. And then you have this part that says and playlist equals video ID. So you actually have to put the video ID in here twice. So in her case, what we did, and I'm just going to expand this out so it's all on one line. In her case, what we did here is said the web address youtube.com slash v slash her video ID goes here. Question mark version equals three. That's just the version of the YouTube player that we'll see when we go to that link and loop equals one so we're looping this one time and the playlist and the video id again 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 i'm not sure where that came from i've been talking to people in canada maybe all right if i go now and i go to the web address and put that web address in there it looks really complicated and really convoluted but if you break it down into its parts it's really easy this little part is her video id this is the version of the player that we're using this is to tell it to loop and then you have to put the playlist equals whatever, whatever your video ID is. So if we do that, we're going to go ahead and hit enter here. And that's going to load her video as a playlist. And we'll go ahead and play all. And now this is going to play her video, but I'm going to go ahead and forward it to the end so you can actually see what happens when we get to the end of the video. So this was a uh, Gem Lady production, and it automatically went back to the beginning. In case you missed that, I'm going to do this again one more time because this ad's coming up. All right, so when this goes to the end, it just rolls back to the beginning and starts over. So you can see that started over down here. So that code does still work. If you want to grab it from the video, you can here. I'm also going to put it below the video, but sometimes it cuts off the web addresses. So you may have to type this one time. You can't actually copy it from the video, but you can type it. I know that takes a little bit of work, but if you type it, you'll have it forever and you'll just want to replace the video ID with whatever your particular video ID is. And you can find your video ID in the web address once you're on your page where you view your video. So you just put the address in there twice, and then that full link will take you to a page that plays the video and plays it on loop. All right, if you found this helpful, um, you can donate. And um, you can do that at paypal.me slash strive for impact. And thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.